Football does not define you. It doesn't build character as much as people say it does. It simply reveals character. Outside of football, I'm very calm. When you put on those pads, it gets, it's funny. I just love heavy stuff. <laughs> I just love being physical. Football's contact by design, not contact by mistake. Every single play, you're gonna have to kick that guy's butt. I try to play through the whistle, play with physicality and try to be mean. You know, never give up. I think that's, that's the most important part. Off the American football field, Yalda Froholt is a shy and retiring 18-year-old. On it, he's an aggressive defensive lineman who has attracted attention from some of the leading college teams in the States. The Danish teenager is one of the rising stars of the American football world. Well, if everything goes as planned, and of course, a dream of mine is also coming in, going into the NFL. And if not, that's, I'm, I've, done, I've done everything I could to come to that, that point. Yalda currently attends the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida, where he's completing his education as well as launching his football career. He got into the sport at the age of 12 and developed his love of the game further on an exchange program in Ohio two years ago. I've played a bunch of different sports uh, and I wanted to be an exchange student, so I thought, well, might as well try a sport that, so I can make friends over here when I come, finally come over here. I started football in the club and it actually it pretty much worked out for the better, so it, I just loved it. Although he started playing American football relatively late, Yalda has picked up the sport quickly and has shone during his year training in the Sunshine State. The Dane is one of 12 overseas players on the books of the academy, which is looking to increase the outreach of the sport around the world. The team's defensive coordinator, Joe Sturdivant, has played and coached in Europe. He's confident that Yalda can succeed in the sport, despite not growing up with it like some of his American teammates. His athletic ability basically overtakes, you know, makes up for all that, but, uh, you know, He's a very smart kid, and he's got a lot of natural instincts. So you know, if you combine those two together, and you go out and practice every day, and you listen to your coaches, and you're coachable, I mean, you can bridge that gap. And uh, I think he's uh, really excelled and put himself above a lot of the guys that you know, are, from the, are from the States. This year, Yalda has helped guide the IMG Ascenders to 10 victories from 11 games, with a maturity that belies his relative inexperience in the sport. His defense have recorded nine shutouts this season, such has been their collective organization and determination. And it's this togetherness that Yalda loves most about the game. I think it's the camaraderie. How do you come together, a group of guys, and you, you can be from all over the world, pretty much, all over the state, all over the country, and you can come together and just function as one and then come together as a team. And you could be from, no matter from where you are, from like very rich cultures to very poor cultures, it doesn't really matter. When you go on that field and when you put on that equipment, it's just, it's, it's a whole new, it's a new family. Yalda is six foot four inches tall and weighs 290 pounds. The tough youngster takes pride in his Viking blood and can bench press in excess of 300 pounds. However, it's the Danish teenager's tactical intelligence and work ethic that has most impressed the academy's director of football, former NFL star Chris Winky. First and foremost, what I'm looking for is good young men, and, and he exemplifies exactly what we're looking for here at IMG Academy. Uh, he came to us with a pretty good skill set, and I think what we've been able to do is maximize his potential. And we're at the point now with Yelda where he is a man among boys, and uh, I know we're all excited for his future. In December of last year, 
Froholt received scholarship offers from a host of colleges across the state, all impressed with the seemingly natural aptitude he had for the sport. He decided to commit to Arkansas and will join up with the Razorbacks next year. It's been a dream of mine since I started playing football, but back then it was just a joke. There you go, right there. Oh yeah, I'm going to play college football, I'm going to do all this, and now it's actually something that's come true, and it's, it's kind of hard to to take to take the heart and like because it's kind of surreal still but I'm for sure ready to go in and and hopefully gonna get a great college career. As Yalda has progressed up the ranks he's garnered a lot of attention from aspiring American football players across the globe particularly in Denmark. To keep in touch with his fans back home he's been writing a blog of his time in the US. It's important for people who uh, want to know how I went through my journey and like to see what I've been doing uh, day by day and um, just like an insight of how I've got to this point. But it's also for myself a lot uh, to kind of go but look back and see what I've been doing and kind of appreciate every part that's brought me to where I'm going. When Transworld Sport was in town, Yalda and the rest of the seniors were preparing for their last game together, a home clash against Champagne Catholic School. Having studied the opposition and practiced numerous drills in training, confidence amongst the IMG Ascenders team is high. I just want to finish my high school career with a good memory, with a great group of people. So if we play like we've played through all through this year, I think we have a great chance of winning. And, um, we've prepared a lot already, and even though it's the last week, we still try to go out there and, would, and put on a grind and do the best we can to prepare for this team. Number 92, defensive lineman, Yelda from the Before the game gets underway, Yelda is joined on the field by his family, who flew over from Denmark to see his final high school encounter. I'm incredibly proud. It's amazing what he has achieved, and I hope he will go all the way and take it to the next level. I can't really explain to you how much they mean to me. And through my football, like they might not have like the most knowledge or the most like experience with the game, but as, as people about life, they know a lot about life and how to approach it and how to look at these different issues that I've tackled with football and how to choose where I wanted to go for college and just all these things that mentally prepare myself to what's coming on at hand. The IMG Ascenders start strongly. Yalda's team scored touchdowns on each of their seven possessions in the first two quarters to take a commanding lead. Jack. Temperatures rise among the Champagnac camp and one of their players is ejected following a personal foul. Then, trailing by 48 points to eight, they decide to dramatically forfeit the match. The IMG seniors' last game is unfortunately cut short. It's very sad. Uh, I, I can't, I don't really know. I can't really explain myself. Anymore. I'm sorry. Nevertheless, the experience shouldn't take away from what has been a great season for the Ascenders and for Yalda personally. It's been a special year. You know, it's our second year in the program, and, and uh, we got a lot of great kids. And, and um, Yelda's been a special part of our program, and we're excited to see him go on and, and do great things. And he's not only a great player, he's a better person, and, and that's what makes him so special. Committed to Arkansas and destined for the NFL. Don't be surprised to hear more about Yelda Froholt in the years to come. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.